Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to start this video off with a little bit of a backstory. Um, last weekend, I ended up hitting a possum and ripping off most of the front bumper on the Subaru. Uh, pretty unfortunate. And then today I went to go winterize the car and get the snow tires on and everything. And I ended up noticing that the sway bar end link was broken on the passenger side. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to replace that. All right, let's get into it. guys so this is the part that's broken right here this is the sway bar end link and then this bar right here is your sway bar and so i believe when i hit the possum last weekend um it ended up breaking that off so uh, let's go ahead get that uh taken apart and put the new piece on So this is the bad one, that's where it broke. Goes in there like that. That's the part number that I got. About the same size. About the same length. To be right. It's even got a on head in the back. So to that side, whoops. So you don't need a vice grips. Could have used an Allen head. Would have been a lot easier. Who knew? All right, let's go ahead and get this thrown back up. Okay, so this is my setup. I have the car jacked up. We took the sway bar end link off. Now, when you go to put the new one on, the holes don't line up because the suspension is fully extended. So we need to raise this side of the suspension up so that the holes line up for the new sway bar end link. Okay, now that we got that put in, um, the new one, the, the new nut is a 5 ace, and the Alon head that goes in the front side of this right here is a five millimeter. I found to fit the best. So let's go ahead and throw that all together. All right, guys, so there is the sway bar end link. I'll throw them back together. The torque spec for that is 10 to 20 pounds. Now that that's back on, let's go ahead, throw the tire back on and get everything else in the car buttoned up. All right, guys, that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, a lot of these things will carry over into other models and other vehicles. So I'm not saying that all cars are alike, but this process might be similar to a car that you have. So go ahead, look it up on YouTube and check out other videos. Um, if you found this video helpful, please go down and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if I did something wrong, please go down and tell me in the comments. All right, have a great day. Peace. Thank you.